Will's phone, Jessica's dead now. How come you slept in Summer's room? I was with her at the hospital until late. I'm sorry. Sorry? I couldn't feel worse. I told you you'd get your fingers burned, especially when you've got nothing but the most superficial training. I cut him off. You heard me do it. What else was I supposed to do? He's wrecked the flat. Summer's in hospital. Look, why don't we both go down there? No. And... No. I don't want you anywhere near. I'll go and see her once I've had a shower. Hello? It's Todd. Was he one? He's probably worried about Summer. Yeah, so am I. Hiya. Any news on Summer? Yeah, she's, um, she's fine. A bit shaken up, but I'm gonna go and pick her up in a sec. Blimey. What a mess. Anything I can do to help? Got any super glue? <sighs> Don't ask if you've come at a bad time, because the answer's obvious, I would have thought. I've still got no idea who did this. Will. Will? What, the lad from the hotline? You're kidding me. Do I look like I'm kidding? What did Billy say? <gasps> I'm just glad summer's all right. I'm OK. Have you come round for out? Cos, as you can see, I'm kind of busy. You would be kind of unemployed if you don't get your backside over the factory. It's ten to. Oh, flaming hell! Last thing I need is to lose my job and all. Two secs. I'm not missing more school. I can't believe you're that desperate to get back. Most kids would be milking this, laying on the sofa for a fortnight, watching chickens play harmonicas on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be encouraging my education, not putting me off. Bad dad. <laughs> <laughs> So, they realised you were faking it and sent you home, eh? Yeah. Darn those smart doctors. You gonna have something to eat? Is everything OK? Yeah. Yeah, fine. Do you want me to speak to Carla and get the rest of the day off? Oh, I'm fine. Don't need to be mollycoddled. Well, mollycoddled? It's a big word for a little girl. It's two words. Hyphenated. I don't need to be fussed over. Hey, he's fussing. I need you to do the Ubering. Right. I will see you later, yeah? Till Later. What was that all about? Oh, nothing. We, uh, we've just been worried, that's all. I'm just glad she's all right. Oh, no. How come you're here if she's home? I just... I just needed to get out. To be honest, I'm just furious with Paul. Look, I didn't know this was going to happen. You never could have guessed it would happen. I told him to stay away from that lad. Now look, how could he have been so stupid? I'd have never done anything like that in a million years. Yeah, well, you're a saint. Quite hard to live up to sometimes. I know of what I speak. Sitting here with me is not going to help. Could look after Summer if you want. You need to talk to Paul by the sound of it. It's all looking a bit better, at least. Yeah. Well, Summer helped. Nice. Welcome home after getting hit by a car. Housework. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I love you so much. You know that, don't you? I love you too. But I love Summer and all. She has got to be my priority, Paul. She's... She's just a kid and you've involved her in... I hate myself so much. You know how much I love her too. That's just a word. A concept. It's made up of so many other things. Care. Trust. Selflessness. Honesty. Look, it will never happen again. And without those things, without all those things, it's just a word. It means nothing. See you, Dad.